Howdy everyone, Mr. Kaji here with another chemistry lesson and today we're going to talk about Avogadro's number and the mole. Now this is a very important concept if you're going to learn how to do stoichiometry, so pay attention and take some notes. Let's get started. Alright, in this lesson you're going to learn about Avogadro's law, Avogadro's number, atomic mass unit, the mole, and molar mass. You'll need a periodic table, of course. You'll need a TI-84 calculator. Now, you can use any calculator, calculator you want, but the TI-84 is the one I work with. And you must know your calculator, conversion factors, chemical formulas, writing equations, and how to balance equations. If you don't know these, there are lessons on them at my YouTube channel, so go to Mr. Kazi and find those lessons. All right, Amadeo Avogadro was a great Italian lawyer and chemist, and in 1811 he proposed Avogadro's hypothesis. Avogadro's hypothesis states equal volumes of gases at the same temperature and pressure have equal numbers of molecules. So if we have some H2 and some O2, we'll have the same number of molecules as long as they're at the same volume and the same temperature. And this led to relative masses, atomic mass unit, and the mole. All right, relative masses. Using Avogadro's hypothesis, a relative mass could be determined. And they decided or determined that one carbon could equal 12 hydrogen. So there's a 1 to 12 uh, ratio there. And they used that to develop the atomic mass unit. 1 12th the mass of a carbon 12 isotope would be an atomic mass unit. And this was awesome because it was going to allow them to do a lot of things from here out with a defined unit. Hydrogen equals one atomic mass unit. Carbon is 12 atomic mass units by that definition. Atomic masses. All the elements were then calculated from this ratio and creating a relative atomic mass scale which could be applied to the periodic table. Oxygen would be 16 mass atomic mass units well, because it was 16 times bigger than hydrogen. Nitrogen was 14 atomic mass units. Sulfur was 32.0 atomic mass units, etc. Molecular and formula mass. For compounds, just add all the atomic masses for the elements in that compound. Just add them together. Here's an example. And in this example, we have HNO3, which is nitric acid, and one hydrogen uh, would be 1 times 1.01. .01. And we have one atomic mass unit. Nitrogen, there's only one nitrogen, so that would be 14.01. And there are three oxygen, and 3 times 16 is 48. Add them up, and what do we get? 63.02 atomic mass units of HNO3. Avogadro's number is the number of atoms in 12 grams of carbon-12. And so N, which is the symbol for Avogadro's number, is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And it's times 10 to the 23 of anything. That's just what Avogadro's number is. Just like a dozen is 12. And we call that the mole. And so a mole is the SI unit for the amount of a substance. It is an Avogadro's number of anything. One mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23 of anything. And so a mole is a number like a dozen is 12, a pair is two, or a gross is 144. Examples, a mole of carbon has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 atoms. A mole of water has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 molecules. And a mole of salt has 6.022 times 10 to the 23 formula units. And on top of that, remember that a mole of pizzas would be 6.022 times 10 to the 23 pizzas. All right, let's look at some mole conversions. One mole per 6.022 times 10 to the 23. Now think about that. It's kind of like a little magic. One mole 
is 6.022 times 10 to the 23, and it kind of gives us a magical uh, way of changing moles into particles and particles into moles. Molar mass is the mass of one mole of a substance in grams. Now this came out really easy since the original atomic mass was based on a relative scale then no matter what you change the unit to the relative masses are still going to be the same. So when you look at the molar mass all you have to do is look at what's the mass of an element on the periodic table and change it to grams. Take the atomic mass and replace the AMU with grams. Calcium is 40.08 AMUs. Its molar mass would be 4.08 grams. Get it? Examples. The molar mass of hydrogen is 1.01 grams. Now I just got it off the periodic table, 1.01 AMUs. So why not, why not 1.01 grams? Oxygen, 16 grams. Nitrogen, 14.01 grams. Just check your periodic table and you'll get it every time. Compounds. Well, add up all the elements in a compound. For compounds, just add all the molar masses for the elements in that compound. Example again, nitric acid, 1.01 .01 for hydrogen. And just notice I changed the units to grams. Nitrogen, 14.01 grams. There are three oxygen. So multiply it by 16 and we have 48 grams. Now add them all up and you get 63.02 grams in the molar mass of HNO3, which means one mole of HNO3 equals 63.02 grams. It allows us to take particles and change them to grams. It's awesome. Questions? Send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Don't forget to check out uh, MrKazi.com for PowerPoint videos and much, much more. Get out there and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Studies have shown that it increases your IQ. All right, everybody. Have a great day and happy ions.